Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and I'm the founder of The Green Bell, a place for all clean beauty and luxury beauty. So if that is something that interests you then please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos. In today's video I am sharing this super easy glowy healthy makeup look that you can do when you're feeling like you just want a little boost you want to look healthy, you want to feel chic, maybe it's just you're chilling at home or maybe it's a work from home Zoom call, whatever it may be, it's the easiest way to look chic. It probably takes about 10 minutes, if that, just depending on how quickly you work with your makeup, but it'll have your skin looking super healthy, but also not even just looking healthy, but also helping your skin be healthier based on the ingredients in all the products that I use today. I also want to say thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video to check out the jewelry that I'm wearing today from Ana Luisa. So right now Ana Luisa is having their holiday sale for 2020 and I think it's an amazing time to either purchase a gift for yourself or purchase a gift for a loved one for the holidays so you can buy one and get one 40% off. If you are within the United States then on top of the buy one get one 40% off you actually get a free little travel jewelry case if you spend more than $150 which I'm super jealous that I don't live in the States because of that but yes definitely make sure to check out Anna Louise's website to get the 40% off when you buy one get one. The pieces that I have on now are under $100 each so um, perfect gifts if that's within your budget. This is 14 karat plated gold um, brass and a freshwater pearl so I just I love freshwater pearls. I love pearls in general they are my birth zone so they have a special place in my heart and the slim rope ring and this one again is under $100 it's $74 Canadian and I've mentioned their products before I love their sustainability aspect of their brand and their quality of their pieces are just absolutely amazing I also love how chic and effortless they look so I currently have on the pearl huggies and I just love how tiny and dainty they just look super chic and I also have the slim rope ring on and again I just feel like minimalist gold jewelry um, just kind of pulls in your whole look and wear my nice little turtleneck and I really just love this whole look um, I think it would make a beautiful piece of jewelry for yourself or to gift this holiday season so definitely check out the link in my description if you want to purchase either any of the pieces that I'm wearing today or you want to browse their website and see if there's anything that matches either your own aesthetic or the person that you're shopping for. So um, without any further ado let's get into today's tutorial. So lately I have been loving skin prep and I've been using the Josh Rosebrook hydration um, boost concentrate and I love the syringe <laughs> the dropper Let us gather get some of my bangs out of the way it's Christmas time a merry sound then I'm gonna use the OG this is the Jehovah glow face oil and I've just been this really hydrating and I hope again I feel like those two products the Josh Rosebrook and the OG together just make such a amazing duo and from far away we hear bells that chime stating Santa won't be late I also have a new sunscreen. This is the Super Goop Zinc um, Screen Sunscreen. They actually sent me a couple different products, but only two of them I'll actually be using um, because not all of these Super Goop products are mineral based. They do have some chemical sunscreens, so um, if you don't know, I only use mineral sunscreens, so I'm gonna have to either gift or give away some of these other sunscreens that have some chemical sunscreen ingredients but so I'm using this one and I like how this one has kind of like a pinky tint it doesn't show up pink on the skin but it prevents your sunscreen from having that like white cast which sometimes can happen with mineral sunscreens 
And this one has SPF 40 and this has 13% zinc oxide. Now I also just add a little bit of glow, a little bit more color. I'm using the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. And I recently kind of like shopped my own stash and re-fell in love with this product. And I really only in the winter take the tiniest little bit. And I just do some and dots. Deep in our hearts, we will carry a song. Heard through the ages from And you can tell it just added like a little bit of like sheen and glow and a bit of bronzy color. Whenever I find my face doesn't blend into my neck well, the power of a turtleneck just to conceal everything. Next I'm using the Westman Atelier foundation. I accidentally gunked up the cap because I didn't pull it down enough. Bring a special glow on a special night. Every child away. And I feel like when you have a really moisturized base with skin prep this just applies so well it's a time for joy it's a time for peace Let's give a voice to the ones in need. So I usually just do a really light layer of foundation. Um, and it's super glowy. I kind of leave it glowy for a little bit. And you'll see there's this new product from Super Goop that I've been testing just to kind of use as a powder. But after I do that, I'm just going to do the rest of my cheeks. And I've been using a lot of Westman Atelier products. I know that I just did a full face review. But I've honestly just been really loving these products they're just like my everyday super easy go-to products so I apologize if I'm you know using them a lot but they just look so gorgeous so this is the Westman Atelier petal blush it's the only color I have right now but I'd be excited to try some of their other colors and I'm still waiting for the Le Box to come in I've got this one spot right here and it's not blush it's actually like an itchy irritated I don't know if that's from the sunscreen or not but it's not blush it's just a spot that's red <laughs> from irritation or something I've been always topping up my blush and um, highlight and cheeks with the Westman Atelier Peau de Pache I've just been so obsessed with this product and how it looks and how it like healthy it makes my skin look and it's like such an easy product to work with and I've always been using the Sephora Pro Foundation 70 brush for it it's a super dense flat top brush and it just works so perfectly on the cheeks and for applying this product without spending um, the money on the blender brush I believe it's called which is like over a hundred dollars so and then I've also been running this on my eyes like that I've also been using the biscuit contour stick by Westman Atelier and just doing a really minimal contour let us say a prayer that this Christmas time bring the best of I like how this adds a bit of like color to my face but it's still pretty cool tone so it acts really nicely as a contour and this is just such a beautiful natural contour and on the days that I don't do much makeup I actually don't really wear much uh, mascara because I just find it a pain to wash off so I usually just go in with like a brown kind of um, eyeliner and this one is the Alima Pure in Patina and I just kind of lightly line my upper lash line just to add a bit of like definition on high. let us gather round for it's Christmas time a merry sound I always do a brow with the Ilya brow 
gel and this just is volumizing, it sets my brows in place. I feel like it helps just to frame my face and bring the whole look together. I'll go in with the Kosa Sport. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Balm. Adds a nice kind of color, has a sheen to it, super hydrating because of the hyaluronic acid. And then I'm just going to do the teeniest bit of powder with the Super Goop um, resetting powder. And this is just a 24.5% zinc oxide powder. It's Christmas time. Just to add kind of like a sunscreen topper. And then if I want to do a little bit of highlight, I'll use the OG Opal. In the crowded streets calling Christmas time, the ones we meet where the warmest... Sometimes I'll go in with a little bit more powder, like the Ilia powder, with a nice big fluffy brush. And I just powder my forehead, because with bangs, if you have like a really dewy... Um, forehead I feel like my bangs get too um, greasy so that's one trick that I've learned and something that I've adjusted in my routine since getting bangs but angels on high in the falling snow all there we go there's my super easy kind of like chic makeup you honestly just look like you have super healthy dewy skin like you still look put together but didn't put too much effort into your makeup and obviously you know you can do like a little bun or a slick back um bun I used to love when I had no fringe I would just part my hair in the middle and really kind of do a slick bun like this but I also think the fringe looks super cute and kind of just like I don't know makes me feel more pulled together um and like I didn't try too hard and same thing with the jewelry of course if you um want to check out the link below then please do I have been loving these earrings especially but I've always wanted a rope ring and I feel like it just looks super chic so that is today's really easy quick yet chic makeup look that keeps it looking dewy healthy natural um and a lot of these products too that I've used have a lot of skin benefiting ingredients as well so you know that you're kind of benefiting your skin at the same time as you're wearing makeup so it kind of feels like you're getting you know a little bonus action even if you're just staying at home and relaxing so thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next video um, if you made it this far then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already